Voice Gold Ox Knife. So Hill 195. As the division advanced south towards police, overnight it captured an area of high open ground known as the Hill of Point 195. As dawn breaks, elements of German Grenadier and Panzer divisions counterattack to try and retake the hill. So we're gonna have a counterattack mission next time, which basically is a bit different from what we're doing right here. Much like you know you can expect from war, you attack people and they also get attacked as well. So in this case, we're actually defending ourselves in this bit of mission. So that's what we'll basically be doing. We'll basically be like defending against like you know enemy forces here. So I'm gonna be in my com combat day here, I guess. Um, let's just put in a few more. Uh, Let's just here, let's put in like, you know, a mix of like those rounds right there. I don't want to basically win like, you know, more like my maximum ammo by the way, because uh, that's dangerous. And it's actually worth knowing by with like the, the ammo here, by the way. I'm actually over my maximum, but basically how this generally works, um, you actually like, you have like, you know, way more, way more like ammo than like, you know, your tank can actually hold. Basically the idea in this game is like, you know, you have like ammo, unprotected, unprotected ammo by your feet if you basically do this. And it's really dangerous to do with your tank, but you know, if you want, you can do that basically. But we're just gonna have like you know, 45 and 44 each. That's just fine. And let's just start the next day. And we'll have our our hulls basically open. I think for this guy, and let's go from there. All right. So heading to my starting area took five hours. So I expended 16 high, high explosive rounds. All right. So. A map area has been captured by an enemy advance. So basically the enemy is basically advancing on us. So we're basically over here. And these are like areas like here, like, you know, all areas where like, you know, the enemy is basically like coming from us. And we're just waiting for them to come, sort of like attack us. So we're just going to wait the enemy um, uh, counterattack for the most part here. You wait an enemy out of counterattack. The sky clears. A battle counter is triggered. All right, so they're attacking. They have self pro gun over here, machine gun over team over there, light weapons infantry over there, and in front of us apparently too. Oof, we got ambushed. That's not great. All right, so friendly forces conduct artillery fire against the enemy. No results. He'll spot up this way, I guess. So that guy's apparently hidden, so that's nice. He spied. He spied. And he spied. Alright, with all these infantry around us, let's just like, you know, let's close the hatch for now. And you know, you can actually fire like, you know, your main your high explosive rounds at people if you want to, so I could actually fire these guys as well, but they're actually in the open right now, I guess, so that's not a great idea, so. Let's just direct a quaxel machine gun to fire all these guys around us. And you can fire off your, um, by the way, we're actually not in, like, you know, a good position to, um, use, like, the, uh, the bow machine gun. Basically, if you're hauled down, you actually can't use your machine gun on, like, the, like, you know, thing here. So, that's something to watch out for. So, we can't really do anything with my assistant driver right now, so that's fine. Um... We're just going to basically just sit this guy, I think, where he is right now. So stop. That'll be all we'll do. All right, let's fire our machine guns at people. So I think we'll go after a machine gun here over here for now. So let's just take him out. Hey, look at that. We actually killed someone. So we basically had like less than a dice roll. So that means we actually killed him with the, with the uh, Quaxel machine gun. I finally got destroyed as well, that guy, so that's nice. Oh, we have enemy reinforcements coming in. So yeah, sometimes you have like, you know, that this happened where like, you know, enemy reinforcements will pop in, so that's a thing to watch out for. So we spot that guy. You know what? Let's just reverse this point. We'll do that and see if I can like, you know, get this guy to basically fire this guy here. Next time. All right, so I actually moved far enough away to enemies are in a new position, so this guy's had a little bit far now as a result of that, but that's fine. Um, apparently I can't see these guys anymore. That's not great. Oh, well.
For some reason, this guy decided to fire his, like, you know, little machine guns at us, but whatever, well, it's fine. They moved toward me over here, apparently, these guys. They got destroyed, though. Alright, I need to spot these guys, so... You can look up this way, I guess. So you spot this guy with the commander. And the gunner spot those guys up there. By the way, all these guys can spot people, by the way, if they can see them, so... Um, if this guy's like got his turret facing this way, you can like see this guy out of his turret. Uh, these guys can see him out of like, the driver windows and stuff like that, and, you know, that's basically how they all work. Anyhow, you're going to fire the bow machine gun at this guy, and we'll basically keep firing machine guns at the other guys for now, so let's just keep this going. So I'll we'll fire the um, clock machine gun at this guy, because basically I can turn it, so I'll do that right now. Okay, we destroyed the light infantry right there. And we'll fire the other one at this guy. Wow, we actually killed some of the mobile machine gun, so cool. Alright, so there we go. We got a bunch of kills right there. The friendly force got mostly kills this time, but you know, we still got a couple kills this time as well, so at least we got killed something this time around. And there's a victory point for defending the area. Alright, so. Let's just wait for him to come. The map area has been captured by an enemy advance. The map area has been captured by an enemy advance. The map area has been captured by an enemy advance. By the way, like, you know, you have to be very careful of these advances, by the way. It's possibly cut off, so... Um, I do actually start, I have to start thinking about, like, you know, running away. If, like, these guys get able to, like, you know... How can I put this? These guys can very possibly, like, you know, um, cut me off if I'm not careful, which is bad, because, you know, you'll be cut off from, like, the, you know, the back line, so to speak. I think I'm just going to this forest here for now, which is not the greatest thing to do, but, you know. We'll go here for now. Alright, so, self propelled gun over there, apparently. Machine gun over here. Machine gun over there. And right there. Okay, we got ambushed this time around, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Alright, so, I need to spot this um, uh, self propelled gun first and foremost, so let's do it right now. So we found a stuck 111G self propelled gun. There's that guy over there. Alright, so, these guys are probably facing me. Yeah, they're front facing, so... Alright, this guy's a little bit easier to hit in the front, but I mean, I still want him in the sides if I can, so... That'll be the plan, basically, for this guy here. And of course, we don't really care about the machine gun team as much as, you know, much as, as you see him, but whatever. Uh, let's we'll start moving for now, I guess, for this guy, or... Actually, we're going to pivot our tank first, I think, so... Let's try to wreck the main gun, I think, at this point. Not Quaxel, I think, at this point. You're going to fire Quaxel, you're going to basically change the gun load. We'll cycle this to um, our parent train for the self propelled gun. We're going to have this guy pivot the tank, and you're just going to basically pass the ammo, I think. Oh, we lost our hull down position, which is not great, but oh well. At least now we're facing this guy completely, so that's fine. And we're going to fire this guy with this guy. Well, he was unharmed by that, but oh well. Alright, let's spot this guy if I can. Alright, so... We're gonna basically try and like run by this guy if I can, so... We'll go, we'll go forward with this guy. And this is fine for everything else, I guess, so... Just keep it going. Okay, awesome, we basically moved far enough this guy's now in like, you know, a different position here. And I guess we can't fire anyone with this, so that's fine. Oh, and our artillery. Two friendly infantry squads that get killed. Alright, let's look at this guy here. We didn't see him, that's not great, but oh well. I would open my hatch, but with, the, but with these machine gun teams around, it's not really a good idea, so... Alright, 
Might as well strike me at this point. Maybe just piff the tank again, I guess, at this point, and I'll just like, you know. You know, I could rotate the turret. I might as well just do that right now, I guess. Alright, let's just put a space to end here. So we're just gonna pivot tank this way. Now I don't know if you want to rotate your turret, which is like, you know, something you basically do is like a sort of, you know, an action by itself, but you don't actually fire it. What do you want to do with a turret here? Um I'll basically set the turret right here, I'll basically try and move forward twice here, basically like, you know, get behind this guy and let's blast him inside like that. So we'll see how that goes. He fires our friendly tank this guy apparently. No effect. He shifts to position. He fired friendly infantry. No effect. Alright, let's just direct the move again. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna spy in this guy, I guess. That's fine. None of those guys are hiding from us, so he's not great, but well, that's fine. Um, you're just gonna do none. You're gonna go forward. I should have position again, apparently, but whatever. Some time passed there, apparently, but it's fine. Um, I should probably note by with like the firing arcs here. How this game basically works is that it actually has like you know, if a turret's point this way, you can fire in like this area over here of like you know this turret. If like, you know, if they're like this or like you know in that area, so if I move up twice, basically I'll be able to fire this guy. I think will be the plan. But we'll see how this goes. Let's spot this guy if we can. And you're just going to go forward. There we go, he's now side facing that guy. That guy probably moved further away, but it's fine. Can I spot this guy? Apparently not, but well. I don't really care about the machine gun team, by the way, but you know. I'm not by if you move like too far off the map, but if you basically like, you know, leave the guy, this guy else, like, you know, completely off, so. You actually lose victory points if you, if you like, you know, if you don't actually kill these guys, so that's something to watch out for, but whatever. I'm more compared, um, you know, I'm more concerned about surviving this game more, or anything else, so we're just going to keep moving here. So we're going to try and get behind this guy. And that guy moved behind us apparently. Interesting. Well, let's pivot the tank, I guess. Hmm. You know, this is dangerous, but I'm gonna open my hacks and just try and find these damn guys. Um. You're going to pivot the tank, I think. You're going to turn, turn a turret. I'm not the plan here is I'm just going to point my tank like this and it's like, you know, see these guys. Actually, you know what? The turret's just fine where it is right there. We'll just leave it like that. And he moved toward me over there, apparently. He moved toward me as well, that guy. By the way, I'll note that this guy's on spot, but I mean, we know that he's like, you know, he is like this, like, you know, um, stud free, so at least we know what that guy is, basically. Here we spotted him finally. This guy's apparently in, in like woods here, so he's got some cover, but whatever. This guy's moving in the open, his front's facing, so that's the thing. You know, we're still going to keep moving forward, so we're going like, to try and get behind this guy, so we'll just do that, I think. He's now side-facing that guy. Let's rotate the turret this way and see how it goes.
And yeah, I, I, I shot my hacks to this guy, you know, just for that reason, because, you know, this guy's firing at us, for some reason. Ah, someone finally destroyed that. Well, now that that's basically out of the way, I guess let's just kill this other guy here, so... We're just gonna have you basically pivot the tank toward him. And we're just gonna, you know, start firing everyone at this guy. Fire! Unharmed. And yeah, he didn't like being fired at, but whatever. Oh, he finally got destroyed. Oh, my tank got damaged. Well, there goes our um, crossbow ma ma um, machine gun. Alright, that's not probably not, not the greatest, like, you know, encounter there. We basically, like, you know, lost four of our infantry squads, but whatever. At least I didn't die. That's, that's the main thing about this game. You don't, want, you don't want to avoid dying, basically. Alright, I got, you know, defended, so that's great. And, of course, the enemy keeps advancing. It's not great that this guy keeps moving down this way, because he might cut me off if I'm not careful, so... We're just going to try to um, enter the friendly area down here, I think. And hopefully I can get over here before he cuts me off. A battle counter is triggered again. The self gun over there. Machine gun over there. Oh, we finally found a tank. And our self pro gun. Ooh, we got caught off guard. Well, that's not great that we got caught off guard, but we'll have to deal with it. Um, all my hacks are ha shut, by the way, so that's not great, but whatever. We'll have my camera look up in uh, destruction, I guess. But I, I should probably note that these guys actually all have, like, you know, inspiring things you have to, like, you know, set, so... We'll set this guy to look this way. And, you know... We should be able to hopefully find people have been lucky, so. Uh, and an uh, unidentified tank is spot over here. Um, unspotted self propelled gun is now hiding. Empty team is spot over here. Unspotted self propelled gun is now hiding, so they're all hiding those guys. All right, so there's a tank over here. Now note that the German tanks they're a lot more powerful than the American ones, so it's you know. Usually not good to try and hit these guys front on like this, so we're just gonna basically try and like you know go forward. I think just plow on forward, I guess. We'll fire a quacks from machine gun at this guy, I guess. That'll be the plan. So we'll see how it goes. And let's fire this guy. Now, note by the way that this guy had like you know he's in a building. I also pivoted, and like, you know, that basically really hurt my chance to hit this guy, but you know, whatever. Oof, that guy moved toward us and moved behind us. He moved toward us over there. That tank shifted position over here, apparently. I got one down there. Well, we're not going to get to see a tank, I guess, because it got blown up already, but well. Ouch, free got destroyed. Um, now the problem is I can't really tell if these guys are like, you know, rear facing or front facing or anything because, you know, we can't see them. So, it's not great, but whatever. Let's look this way for you. And you guys look behind us. So there's an MG team, MG team over there. You know what, let's just pivot the tank, I think. You're gonna just, like, fire the quaxial machine gun at this guy. Maybe. 
Not sure I actually see that guy, but we'll see, I guess. Okay, we could see him, so he's hopefully gonna get killed. There we go, we killed the machine gun team. I plan on blew up the uh, cell phone gun behind us. Yeah, I'm getting really lucky with like you know, my my um, allies doing a lot of damage here, but whatever, it's fine. I'm okay with it. That okay, guy's hiding, so we're off to basically move um, forward, I guess, to find him. And it's like a big part of this game, by the way. It's like you know, constantly having to like try and find these guys and kill them. Absolutely, there's none for now, so why not? Forward! Wow, I actually moved like past each other there. Ooh, LA, um, enemy reinforcements popped up. Alright, well, we have to watch out for that, I guess, but whatever. Let's just like look at this guy. That guy's hiding again, apparently, so that's an issue, but whatever. You're going to go pivot your thing. You know, at this point, I'm just going to open the hatches. Let's just try and find these damn guys. And more guys pop in. Uh, you can look up this way. All right, so unidentified self rogue gun spot up there. Unspotted self rogue gun is now hiding over there. Now, guys, hidden over there. So we can see this guy up here, by the way. Um, so I guess we're gonna fire at him. We're just gonna stop. I think when we go from there. Fire. Now, firing at long range is usually not a good idea. It's supposed to have self-real guns, so they use a good armor in front of them, but whatever. We'll try and hit this guy. Now, no problem, like, you know, um, it is possible you can get better results of this as I keep firing at this guy, because um, essentially, like, you know, we're going to have like, this turret with rotated and our stuff going on it's, it, like this, but, you know, it'll get better as you keep firing at this guy as a thing. So now we have four. Okay, apparently that guy moved away from us, so he's no longer there. Alright, so there we go, we finally found one of these guys, so there's a step free. So, this guy is basically, you know, the same guy as before. Ooh, this guy's side facing, I want to kill this guy. Alright, so, um, we're just going to leave this as is right now and just fire at this guy, I think, so... I didn't mean to move forward, but whatever. Apparently, that guy's now rear facing. Now, I got side facing. Alright, um, let's just try and find this guy. Alright, I want to be stopped. You have to be very careful about when it's game, like, you know, make sure you have everything, like, you know, triggered as you want to, but whatever. We won't be stopped, we're going to fire on this guy, let's just get going to it. So, fire. Now, I don't believe we have a pretty good chance of hitting this guy, because, like, you know, um, he's, like, so close to us. So, you know, we basically got six hit to get hit, and there's, like, our first hit on this guy. So, we got hit on this guy. Let's keep firing at him. Another hit. Now I can fire one more shot, but that'll be it because I don't have anything else to load in this guy, so... That's all I can fire this guy. And I know you see, like, target acquired too. Basically, as you fire people, you basically get, like, you know, better acquirement on these guys. Like, you know, it increases your chance to basically hit them. Alright, so let's see if this guy got killed. So, basically, like, this guy, you got, like, you know, 
Um, I got a chance of six or less ways to kill him because, you know, we're basically hit this guy. Ooh, we're hitting this guy in the front armor, too, so that's not great, so... Basically, it's where, like, the front armor really helps out, like, you know, preventing, like, me from killing it, so that's a thing to watch out for. So we didn't kill this guy. And now this guy is basically front facing in the woods, which is not great, so... Alright, um... You know what, we're just gonna pivot the tank and fire this guy like that, I think, so... Pivot the tank. And we're just gonna close the hatches at this point. Although at this point I probably need to get my, like, you know, ready rack changed up, so... What's the rate of ready rack for that, I guess? And you guys rotate the turret. Let's go like this. And I actually want to rotate the turret like this, I think, so I can basically, like, you know, possibly hit this guy in the back if I can. Alright, let's just load in some iron piercing shells over here. Ooh, we moved over there, apparently. We apparently keep smoking this guy so he can't see us, by the way. So that's the thing. Smoke's really useful, by the way, because it basically covers your, like, you know, yourself and you, you know, harder hit. But it also makes it so it's hard for enemy space to hit you as well, so... Alright, let's just see here. Let's just move forward, I think. Now let's do that for now. He's now rear-facing, apparently. Put that gun right this, I think, for now, and... He turns to face us, apparently. Well, we didn't really kill this guy very effectively, but whatever. That's basically how this sort of, like, works. Like, you know, you never get around, you make guys, like, turn their face and stuff like that. It's all about survival in this game, but whatever. That was a lot of self-propelled guns to get killed, by the way. That's a lot of victory points from him as well, too. So that's nice. Alright, we got one victory point for defending the area. We set up our tank for the next battle. We're actually pretty good for where our setup is right now, so it's fine. Let's leave it as is. Alright, so a map isn't captured by the enemy advance. And it captured our um, bit over there. I want to basically move down here so they can't cut me off, I guess, because, you know... This is like all like our land down here, basically, so let's just defend. Oop, we can't get down there, apparently. That's good to know. Well, let's move over there, I guess. Now it's basically trying to defend ourselves. Okay, we're in our southern our tank. Two tanks. An armored car. Alright, so, first thing first, you gotta spot these guys, I guess, so. That's finally going like that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Panzer Fies, the Panther, a medium tank, armor with a 75 um, you know, gun, excellent longer ranges, very heavy front hull armor, so. These guys are pretty much. Impenetrable at the front, so if I don't get behind these guys, they're gonna kill me. These guys are heavy tanks, and our Sherman's not a heavy tank, so they're very scary. These guys, all right. So, how am I gonna basically do this? Um, we basically have to get around these guys as fast as possible so they can't like you know, hit us in, in the you know in the back for the most part. So, we'll see how this goes. You're gonna change the gun load or the ready, um, ready rack for basically get a whole lot of um, and, um, you know, arm piercing for these guys. You're just going to rotate the turret. You're just going to pivot the tank and we'll see how it goes. So we're just going to pivot our tank this way, I think. And we're just going to rotate the tank turret over here, I think. Okay, we're going to take out all the um, high explosive rounds because I don't really need them for this fight. 
Might as well put in all the um, arm fisting around for this fight. Okay, that guy moved toward us. Alright, so this guy's firing at us, so we may die right here. Alright, so this is really bad. Um, we were at medium range, and we got basically hit by, like, you know, this, um, you know, this, this panzer. He hit us with a uh, 7 or less, so we got hit in a hull. And... Our, you know, basically he's got a very powerful weapon. And, like, to hit us, you know, roll, like, you know, way above what you need here, so we're dead. Your tank has been knocked out, and the crew must bail out. So at this phase, we basically see, like, you know, what our casualties and stuff like that are, so... Did we survive or did we die? I was not wounded, but I wasn't able to get out, and I burned to death. Um, this guy was seriously wounded. He, he got out, though, and he got killed. This guy was just killed outright. So only the um, this guy right here survived. Everyone else died. You are dead. Your campaign is over. All right, so that's basically Armor Commander. And, you know, I'll probably do a, a couple more, like, runs of it. Maybe we'll do, like, Patton's Campaign next, just to show it off. And, you know, it's basically how this game sort of, like, plays. Like, you're, like, you know, fighting World War II in, like, a tank. That's basically underpowered compared to, like, you know, the other tanks at the time. But, you know, you're not justifying against, like, other tanks for, like, you know, what it is. Anyhow, hope you guys basically enjoyed it, and uh, take care.